Monday morning here on Fox 21. We're heading toward 9 o'clock. A beautiful shot from Grand Lake this morning. It is sponsored by Auto Nation. And it would be a, a kind of good day to maybe take a trip up to one of the lakes in Colorado, Grand Lake, or any of the other ones, as our weather will be quieter today than what we had yesterday. All right, one thing we do every month here, in fact, every day through our Wire Not Home Services 3 Degree Guarantee, is we have some fun with our forecast and our accuracy to benefit our community and the many organizations that do good. Last month, we were supporting the Alzheimer's Association of Southern Colorado. And joining me now, Trent Urban from Wire Nut Home Services. Good morning. Good morning. And Steve Dietrich, who is with the Alzheimer's Association. And you're kind of the point person for the upcoming Alzheimer's Walk here in Colorado Springs, aren't you? Yeah, I work with the Alzheimer's Association. I'm the volunteer executive leadership chair for the Walk to End Alzheimer's this year. And how, how did you get involved with that? Uh, so I got involved with Alzheimer's because we had some very direct impact with Alzheimer's in my family. So my mom was diagnosed 12 years ago okay. with Alzheimer's. She's still with us, okay. uh, but she's now late stage. Um, and she's been over in the Springs Ranch Memory Care Center now for the last three years. But I mean, <clears throat> as we were talking, I, I mean, everyone has a story and you'll find almost everyone we get involved with at uh, the Alzheimer's Association or people who interface with us mm -hmm. uh, will quickly find out that we're all there f because there's a lot of com uh, passion for uh, looking after the Alzheimer community because we've been impacted by it directly. Yeah, it's a, it's a debilitating and, and interesting disease in, the, in my wife's family. Her grandmother and one of her uncles mm -hmm. were lost from it and for them it wasn't a 12-year journey. It was very quick from diagnosis to unfortunately losing them. Um, if, if people aren't familiar kind of with where the journey of treatments that are that are coming and some of the progress that we're maybe making toward eventually a cure for it. Can you give us a little bit of insight on that? Yeah, so uh, uh, Alzheimer's has been around for over 40 years. The Alzheimer's Association has been around for over 40 years and the mission and focus has always been on care, support, and research for the Alzheimer impacted community. Mm -hmm. So this isn't like news for us. Right. And all that research that's been, being done, and that's the, a major focus for the Alzheimer's Association is to fund that research. As that's all being <coughs> been done over the years, it takes a very long time to get these drugs right. and you know the clinical trial uh, periods all wrapped up, get it to market, get it through right. all the FDA approvals. And over the last year and a half, two years, we've seen you know a number of these start to hit. There's been a lot of big news about them and they keep coming out of the pipeline. Well, they're kind of focused right now on, if you look at them, this early, early stage uh, focus to the Alzheimer's um, treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's not a cure. They're treating and hoping to uh, delaying, delaying progress and, right. and you know uh, extending life right. uh, you know for individuals involved to to get that. But it's not the cure bit, so we're still working on the cure. So Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Mm -hmm. It's the only one in the top ten that doesn't have a cure. Hmm. So there's a lot of focus Important there, and that's why we're so impassioned about the cause. Yeah, and you have an event coming up. We'll come back to that yeah. in a second. But Trent, <coughs> do you have an experience with, with Alzheimer's in your family? That I do. Um, so actually, I guess I'll, when Joey comes out, you'll see that it's my son. So yeah. big surprise here. <laughs> Nobody knew this. But uh, he just got married, uh, what was it, three weeks ago or so. And in that, Congrats. we had all of our family out, and my aunt was one of them. And, mm -hmm. and I had a chance with all the busyness of the, of the wedding, I had a chance to catch up with her a bit and everything and talk to her. And there were glimpses where I would see my old, you know, my Aunt right. Dee Dee that I know. And otherwise, yeah, she's just not there. And, right. and so that's one of my direct experiences and just recently, you know. And like Steve said, everybody has some kind of connection to this. And right. Well, that's and the one that just hit recently. And it, you know. Yeah. And it's an, I mean, you kind of lose them twice, yeah. is sort yeah. of what they say. And yeah. so it's very challenging. You guys have a, an event where the community can kind of get behind you coming up here in September. Tell us about it. Yep, so uh, you can come down uh, and get involved within the whole Fight to End Alzheimer's by joining us and like 2,000 of our closest friends uh, at this event. So the Walk to End Alzheimer's is going to be at the end of September. So September 28th, we'll be at Memorial Park. We do the walk around Prospect Lake. Yep. It's a huge event. Um, lots of, of sponsors and vendors. Our presenting sponsors this year are Blazer Electric and Bene Beneficent Long-Term Care Guidance. Okay. Um, and two fantastic organizations uh, that put a lot of focus on uh, mental health in their and their uh, community involvement. Sure. We'll have 55 sponsor booths, uh, live DJ, food trucks, photo opportunities. So it's a great, great time for the 
community to come together, got to turn Memorial, yeah, Park, Memorial Park purple. We'll get some info time. on that coming up on our website right now. Let's bring Joey in. Let's do the check. $1,680 last <laughs> month for the important work the Alzheimer's Association is doing. Uh, Joey, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. If you have a local nonprofit important to you that you want us to support, super easy to do. Go to fox21news.com, search the three-degree guarantee. I'll be back with a quick look at weather right after this. We're going to take a short break.